Hey, welcome to this video. I wanted to tell you about a recent bookstore trip that I took to an Amazon bookstore. Uh, there's actually a few Amazon bookstores that I know of, actual like locations, not just Amazon online. There's Amazon bookstores that you can go to. And so I went to one the other day, it was in a mall and it's a decent sized bookstore. And they have some other products there, like popular Amazon products, but majority of the store is books. So I wanted to kind of show you what the store looks like, just in case you don't have one where you are. And I want to show you the few books that I picked up. So let's get started.
The first book that I picked up is called Arsenic and Adobo by Mia P. Manansala. This is what it looks like. This one looks like a really funny book. It actually kind of reminds me of the premise of Dial A for Aunties by, I think it's Jesse Suquanto. Um, so this is a Tita, a Tita Rosie's Kitchen Mystery. This is about a girl who goes through a breakup and moves back home and she's trying to help the family restaurant and a food critic shows up and he dies and she is suspect number one. And so she kind of conducts her own investigation to find out what really happened. The next book that I picked up is called Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens. And this is a Reese's Book Club pick that is going to be made into a movie. So I wanted to read the book before um, the story is spoiled by me seeing the movie or seeing reviews about the movie. So I found this one at the Amazon bookstore and I got it for less than $11. I think it was like $10.80. The cover price on this is 18 so that's a pretty big discount. So that's definitely one thing I noticed about the Amazon bookstore is that the prices are very reasonable. So nothing there is really cover price, especially if you, that's, I think that's only if you have Prime, then you get these special like special discounts. So this one is about a girl who lives in a marsh area of North Carolina. And in 1969, a body is found and that girl that lives in the marsh becomes the main suspect. And so here's the next one, B.E. Schwab, The Near Witch. The person at the checkout said that this was a really good book. So I was glad that I chose it. And they also said, if I like this, that I will probably really like the, the invisible, was it The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by the same author. So I was excited for this. It, it kind of looks like a shorter book. And this one is about, um, it says The Near Witch is an old story told to frighten children. And so one night, someone named Lexi sees a boy outside of her window and then after that children are just disappearing from the town the main character wants to know what's going on and starts investigating so this sounded really intriguing to me and i'm curious to see if i'll like it because i haven't read the um invisible life of Addie larue but um that's on my list i want to read that one Okay, the last book that I found is called Panic by Lauren Oliver. This is a prime, uh, like a prime original show. So I wanted to get this book before I see the show because one of my favorite things to do is read the book and then watch the show or the movie. And it's kind of cool just seeing, seeing the story like play out visually in front of me and see how different it was in my mind. I always feel like books are better, but I think that's because, because you get a, like your th thoughts more kind of interpret the story. Like, so seeing, seeing it on film, like seeing it in a TV show or in a movie, you're kind of seeing someone else's vision of it. So that's why I think a lot of times books are better because it's like you're putting your own personal spin on it. That's just a theory. I don't know if that has any um, truth in it. But this book, I am, I'm not entirely sure what it's about. I haven't really heard, I haven't heard of this book before. So I, I just saw it there it's in a stand and um, I, again, I get pulled in by the, this is now a show you can watch. So this one just says, um, panic is a game that is played in this small town and it just says stakes are high, payoff is even higher, everyone has something to play for. So that'll be very interesting to find out what this is really all about. And those are the books that I picked up at the Amazon bookstore. <laughs> I hope that these sounded good to you and 
I'm sure I'll be updating you after I read them. So thank you for watching and I hope that you enjoyed the footage of the Amazon bookstore and go ahead and look it on up and see if you have one near you so you can visit yourself. And thanks for watching. Bye.